So what we have here today is we have some grapes that haven't been tended to in a few years. They've been falling over. Um, they haven't been being kept up on and cut back and they're not producing a lot of grapes. Uh, the fence has been knocked down. The deer have been eating the grapes and the leaves. So we're just gonna drastically cut them back. Uh, so we'll probably have to put some of the the arms up and things put that back all together so that we can get something to grow but uh, it's winter time just about on uh, about a month and we're we're just gonna totally cut this back and start over so uh, enjoy the video we're just gonna chop away some stuff will probably fall over hopefully not on us we'll try to do it safely enjoy the video So I didn't originally plant these grapes. Uh, they were here on the property uh, when I bought it about 10 years ago. And I cut them back maybe a few times, but just kind of let them do their thing. Uh, they were kind of had a bridge. There's another row um, behind you there that uh, they kind of had a bridge that went over and uh, connected to that and I cut those way back. Maybe the first or second year that I was here, I had a bumper crop after I cut them back and uh, made quite a bit of grape jelly. And the uh, nice thing about grapes is they have their own pectin in them. They uh, firm up into a jelly without actually having to add pectin. So it was kind of a fun experiment and uh, had a good time doing that, gave away a lot of jelly, but I don't expect that if we don't kill these and they continue to grow, that it'll probably be a few years before we get any grapes, get some vines growing and, and get grapes again. But it, it's going to take some maintenance uh, grapes. You do have to cut the vines back to get them to produce fruit. So it's just been time. <coughs> And I do see after cutting through some of these branches, there's a wire that's holding this up. So hopefully it won't fall over on anybody. I just gotta cut all these branches out and make a, a big mess and we'll end up burning them. And the dog is helping too. He's grabbing them and pulling them out.
Murphy, go put it on the pile. Go put it on the pile. <laughs> I think so. I got two and a half seconds done. Alright, one. One more section to go. So as you can see here, it is quite a bit of work. We aren't quite finished yet, we're just cleaning up. Uh, but we uh, got a pile over here uh, that's uh, ready to burn when we uh, have time to do a burn. And Thank you for watching my channel. I hope you enjoyed. Comment, like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell. And see you on the next video.